what a good match it was too. We've got mixed doubles coming up next, then we'll have women's doubles. Men's singles will follow that, and the last of our five quarterfinals is men's doubles with two pairs who have each got a silver medal from World Championships. Of course, Ku and Tan, silver medalists from the World Championships in 2010, and their Korean opponents, silver medalists from earlier this year. So the players make their way onto court for the second of our quarterfinals, and it's mixed doubles. More world champions on display. Chang Nan and Zhao Yunlei of China up against Chen Hongling and Chen Wen-sing of Taipei. Michael Dahl from Norway, just doing the toss of the coin. So, Jang Nan will receive. World champions were beaten finalists here last year. We're looking at the moment at Chen Hongling, and there's his partner Chen Wen Sing, 29 years of age, number five in the world rankings, up to number four in the Super Series rankings. So they have definitely qualified for the Super Series finals. The number five seeds Chen Hongling and Chen Wen Sing, as indeed, of course, have the world number ones, Chang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. All the world champions from China, each of them last year, got through to two finals here at the China Open. But the number five seeds, as I say, number five in the world ranking, having played 19 tournaments over the last 12 months. Winners this year of the Japan Super Series, their first and only Super Series title that they've won. And who did they beat in the semi-final in Tokyo? It was their opponents of today. Thrilling match it was to save three match points, if I remember correctly. So four finals for the pair from Taipei, having won one of them this year. But the number one seeds, the world champions, 47 and 8. That's a very good win loss record. 21 year old Zhang Nan and 25 year old Zhao Yunlei. And that win loss record translates into six titles. Every time they've reached a final this year, they've won, never defeated in a final. 5 and 1, their win loss record. And the last time they met, of course, was in the semi final last week in Hong Kong. Two straight games it was to Zhang and Zhao, who went on to take the title. Thrilling final against the Danes. Three games it was in Hong Kong. So Michael Dahl of Norway asks the players to get ready. Hakan Fosto, the service judge from Sweden. These two pairs actually met each other last year at the China Open in the round of last 16. And it was the, obviously the Chinese pair who went through to the final who won on that occasion. That was three games. The six previous meetings, it's only twice gone the full distance at Japan Open. So 
with the number five seeds from Taipei getting this quarterfinal underway. for the Chinese world champions. They've actually only played one match so far because in the first round they were due to play against the qualifiers He Hanbin and Bao Yixin, teammates from China. And that never happened. Their opponents pulled out. Have you heard, Ian, what the reason was for pulling out, what the injury was? We're told it's an injury, but we haven't actually been told what the injury was. No, no, I haven't heard anything on that one. As far as Cheng Hung Ling and Chen Wen Sing are concerned, they too had a, an easier match earlier on in the tournament because yesterday against the Polish combination of Robert Matusiak and Nadia Ziba, they had won the first game. They were 10 5 up in the second when the Polish combination retired, injured. So there's been quite a lot of players falling by the wayside. Yeah, it's a heavy part of the, the schedule at the moment. It's been a long year, a lot of tournaments, one or two injuries creeping in, I'm afraid. And also, I think the conditions here causing one or two problems as well. Matches longer than longer than they used to a little bit, and the conditions are a little bit cooler, certainly, than in Hong Kong last week, and it's all sort of adding to each other, adding up. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're getting one or two withdrawals. course Zhao Yun Lei last week in the final of the Hong Kong Open women's doubles final she and her partner had already won the mixed doubles but in the women's doubles final she withdrew with an injured knee and Zhao Yun Lei didn't actually have to play on the first day of the first round of the main draw it's got a walk over in both her mixed doubles and women's doubles extra days rest probably will have done her a world of good yeah she's one of the few athletes going for two events at the olympics going to try and qualify in two events and looks as though she'll do it quite comfortably but it does take its toll, particularly when you play back-to-back -back Super Series events. Two finals, as you say, last week. She's looking for two finals again this week, I would say, at least. Well, Zhang Neng has broken his racket. Off he goes. Wow. And that's the problem. You get distracted sometimes by seeing your opponent dash off court. You're not concentrating on, on just playing your shot because you've now you've been distracted. Take yep. your eye off the shuttle just for that fraction. Well, Ian, <laughs> I, I, do you know, I, I said to myself before this match started, Jill, don't mention the problems of the low serve of Chen Wen Singh. Poor girl, she's struggled for months and months and months. We have to talk about it. She's just lost all confidence on her low serve, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah, I don't think we'll see her try many in this game, and certainly not after <laughs> that one. I think we'll see a lot of flick serves from her, just trying to get the shuttle in play. And to be honest, probably not a bad, uh, not a bad hole for her to be doing that. You know, flick serve, it's, this is one of the easier holes to defend in, as we were saying during the ladies' singles match. So she may get away with some flick serving in this match.
off. Well, she felt she had to go for one in the end. Play, got away with seven, eight drop shots from the rear court. She took the gamble, went for it, but was played with very good precision. Yeah, why on earth wasn't she looking for it on the backhand side? Went way around the headshot there was ambitious. That's a great interception from Zhao Yunlei. smash you have to acknowledge though that obviously with with one glaring weakness with Chen Wen Sing in her lack of confidence on her low serve she's still getting remarkably good results which which must mean the rest of her game is very good indeed well I think it both in ladies and mix she's one of the top players in the world she possibly sees the shuttle earlier than any other player I mean, she really does read the game very well. She's got great reactions. And as we saw there, she's got good power from the rear court as well. She surprises people with her power. Flick yeah. serve. Well, it's Little called good. Yeah. Zhao Yunlei doesn't like the call. Yeah. And Zhao Yunlei, I've seen this before when Zhao Yunlei plays against Cheng that she makes a wait an awful long time to serve it because she knows she's a nervous server. And I think she actually waited too long even for herself there. Yeah, and looking at that replay, I thought that the shuttle did indeed land on the line. Oh dear. Well, I think she's really going to have to, in this hall particularly, I think she should be flicking. Just trying to get the shuttle into play, trying to play off, play off defense. It's a hall where you can counter attack. Well, this Chinese combination actually formed their world, their partnership at the China Open two years ago. They reached the semi-final, final last year. Seems to be a progression of improvement there, Ian. Well, they clearly <laughs> have improved at the world champions, yeah. and deservedly so, you'd have to say. They played a great tournament in, in London. I'm sure we'll have given them a lot of confidence for the Olympics in the same venue next year. Yeah, well, since forming their partnership, tw 20 individual tournaments, 13 finals, nine titles, including five Super Series events. And somebody that's only 21 years of age, that's pretty impressive. Just enough pace on it to make it awkward for Zhao Yunlei. A good angle, good patience from the rear court there. Not trying to hit the shuttle hard, knows it's difficult to get through, going for placement and angle.
Brilliant. Great defensive shot from Chen Hongling. And that's the problem when you do put pace on. You don't really get get value for your for your effort. He seemed to have all the time in the world to play that, didn't he? To the angle rather than the power. Three steep angles eventually finds the mistake. Another good rally. Yeah, there is. You see how high in the court he is. He's able to intercept that. The lift was just a little bit too flat. Able to get up, take it early from half court. Zhao Yunlei not able to get into a good defensive position. She's very quick on that flat game, isn't she? Chen there, guilty of trying to go through Zhao Yunlei, and that's really not the way to go. She's got very good reactions around the net court. Anything driven through her zone, very quick onto it. Mm, goodness me, what on <laughs> earth happened there? Oh, I missed the carpet. <laughs> problems if if Chen can't get the service in play either they really have got problems here well again that's a dangerous game to play with Zhao Yunlei she really likes that flat game it's a really surprising error It's all getting very fast and furious, isn't it? And I think the pair from Taipei just need to think about the placement of the shuttle a little bit more, guided into the open spaces. And again, guilty of playing the drive, really, from defensive position. That gives the interception chance. Seven game points for the number one seeds. Error on the return of serve. Twenty-one thirteen confirms the umpire, and in the end, it was pretty comfortable. 
15 minutes of play. Yes, as you say, Jill, Taipei pair have really got to think a little bit about the tactics here. The problem for them is that Chen's natural game is to play quick down the sides. He likes to play a driving game and he knows his partner's very quick to cover. The problem they've got on the other side is that that's exactly the strength in Zhao Yunlei's game. She likes that flat game. She's very quick to intercept on the front court and that's causing a lot of problems for the Taipei pair at the moment. We saw just once where Chen took the pace off and used that cross block to such good effect. But only the once he didn't learn his lesson. The very next rally, in fact, he went back to a flat drive and paid the penalty. Really needs to mix it up a little bit with some blocks, pushes straight to the midcourt, just push to the midcourt straight and use some cross blocks just to give some different, pose some different problems to the Chinese pair. Taking that open game, 21-13. Number one seeds, Chen Han and Zhang Yan Lei. We'll be looking to keep that sort of form going. Yeah, it's well taken. Made it look easy on that backhand kill, did Chen Wen Sing. I can assure you it wasn't. better took the pace off there for Sao Yun Lei to take it from below net height and then she made the mistake rather than hitting up to her on the midcourt Good return, going straight back at the body of the server, not giving him time to get organised. idea yeah let's try him it's not really his natural game though incredible strapping on the leg of Chen Wen Sing bright pink finds the line As I say, there's a lot of pressure on his serve, isn't there, Jill? When you know your partner's yep. not got a very good service, not confident on serve, that puts a lot of pressure on your own serve. And he's already made one or two mistakes himself. Well, yeah, just signs that uh, Zhang Nan's just relaxed a little bit at the start of this game. Maybe one or two uncharacteristic errors. Always on the defense after the poor low serve. Never able to get back into the rally. Oh, 
Chinese were all out of position there. That's where I would have liked to see a little guided block shot. difficult for Chen uh, his natural game is pace on pace on pace on and you can see at the start of this second game clearly the coaching was that he's got to try and take the p pace off the shuttle a little bit but he just doesn't look natural when he's doing it but there are one or two uncharacteristic errors coming in from the Chinese pair at the moment that's keeping the Taipei pair in this game Again, that's a poor mid-court push from Zhao Yunlei. Giving her opponent the opportunity to step in and take it from above net height in the mid-court position. Yeah. They're just doing as we suggested it wasn't a block but it was just guided into the wide open space yeah and it forced it forces the opposition to take the shuttle from below net height which means your partner gets in an aggressive position you've got time to get organized but this is a really sloppy first half of the second set from the Chinese pair I have to say a lot of errors you see Zhang Nan in between the points looking at the other courts not focused at all at the moment Well, net court deep in defense, but again, the nature of the hall so slow, so difficult to finish. Chinese pair guilty of not really placing the shuttle very well, hitting onto the defense. Well, it's exactly the same score line at the mid game interval as it was in the first game, but in total contrast, it's the pair from Taipei who have the advantage here in the second. Well, you can see Zhang Nan is not, he's not there yeah. at the moment, is he, again? No, just no but I, I was going to say something about the serve there and the fact that, you know, given the conditions here, why on earth risk the low serve? And, a, and you know, a service error is a point to your opponents. Yeah. Four points up, get the shuttle in play, even if it's a flick serve, make yeah. your opponents play, particularly yeah. when Zhang Nang's going through such a bad patch at the moment. Yeah. And again, the error comes from below net height, trying to put pace on the shuttle. Rather than being patient, playing the block, and cover the net position.
I was coaching the Taipei pair at the moment, I would be definitely saying keep the shuttle on Zhang Nan. Yeah. He's, he's not very concentrated at the moment. Wandering around again. Head up in the air, body language not very positive at the moment, which is hard to understand, really. They won the first game. There you can clearly see the extraordinary strapping on the leg of Chen Wen-Sing. Yeah, that's another error. with him saying come on looks tired actually <laughs> oh, indecision there when you say tired do you do you mean facially he, yep. he looks yes, he drained looks. and tired not not as far as moving around the court not physically but certainly his his body language is very lethargic for you know, it just looks as though he looks... Yes, drain's a good word, Jill. I think he does look drained at the moment. Yeah, because this is only his... I don't know. Did he play qualifying in the men's doubles or did they get straight into the main draw with Tao Jiaming? I'm not sure. I think they were main draw, were they? Good work from Chen Hungling. Six point advantage now to the pair from Taipei. And yet another error up from Chen Nan. Yeah, it was in the main draw. In the main draw in the men's doubles. Just the one match, so shouldn't be shouldn't have affected him too much. I know this year he's mainly played just one event, played the mixed, so. Slight change for him playing two events, but... Yeah, but this is only his third match because... Yeah, with the walkover in the mix, it shouldn't yeah. have affected him, really. No. But he doesn't look with it at the moment. And again, he's wandering off after that point. How, as a coach, do you snap your players out of that if they've gone a little bit lethargic? Do you give them a severe talking to, or...? I think he's getting them to... He's probably thinking about the match. Does he want to go to three? Is he going to try and come back in this? And you've just got to get him to focus on one point at a time, just to concentrate very heavily on the next point that's coming and break the game down. Very often when people get lethargic, it's because they're thinking of the thinking in the long term rather than the short term. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, well again, you have yeah. to question the tactic. An opponent who's not in the best form at the moment. Get the shuttle in play, flick him. Just wide, but that's the sort of thing that you and I were suggesting. Find the spaces. Yeah, change of direction rather than driving everything back straight. Nice idea, didn't miss by much. too long. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad miss at this stage of the game. Gives your opponent hope. Yeah, there's only two points in it now. 
Now just the one. Five straight points for the number one seeds. And the Taipei pair just guilty of one or two errors and also letting Zhao Yung Lei get in on after the service as well. And they should really be looking for Zhang Nan at the moment. And there we see it. As soon as they go to him, they get yeah. the error. drive but for once they got away with it yeah so you know be disappointed with that that's one of the favorites read the cross-court drive well placed rack it up missed it the error from Zhang Nan again. He was trying to step the tempo up there, but again, made the error. Well, three game point opportunities to level this quarterfinal at one game apiece. Now, what's she going to do? Surely she's got a flick. Yep. Yeah. And they've taken the second game. 21-17, it is indeed one game all. <laughs> 33 minutes, and it's one game all. It'll be interesting to see the attitude of the Chinese coaches here. How they try to motivate their players, get them going again. Certainly there was a lack of focus at the start of that second game from Zhang Nan. Definitely all the shadow movements there you can see are all about push and block and change of direction. Changing the pace, not trying to force it. Well, I guess the start to this deciding game is going to be absolutely crucial. Yeah, first four or five points will tell us a lot here, I think. Final game. Love all. Play. It's been wide. And yeah, see, it whole rally momentum turn with that little block. Yep, yep, it's definitely the tactic. And you could see that's what the coach was asking for. And again. Yeah, that's where she is so good. You're right, her reactions and her reading of the game. At the front of the court, Chen Wen Sing is absolutely superb.
definitely out of sorts though, Zhang Nan. Almost every shuttle is hitting, he's off balance. You can see the body language is not good. Doesn't look doesn't look hundred percent to me. the wrong choice of shot yeah yeah from down there you can't go for it and he's trying to follow the coach's instruction to keep the pace off but once you're below the net in that area you've really got to lift out and start again no he just missed it That's a good shot. Uh, it's a good rally. Yeah, and again, Chen trying to force the play and going cross court, and Zhao Yung lay very high on the court in the defensive position. Don't think that's the right tactic. Needs to keep the pressure on Zhang Nan, really. See here, that's a risk going cross court there. done it again. He had Zhang Nan all over the place and went cross court. And again, I have to say that's not a good tactic attacking Zhao Yun Lei cross court. She's too good. Defense is very solid. He had Zhang Nan off balance, brought him in, got him off balance. The smash on him would have been much more effective and his partner would automatically be in a better position. It's now a run of five straight points from the world champions. Again, the smash on Zhao. The smash on Zhao comes back even quicker. She's in that crouch defense position. It's hit onto a racket. The pace she puts on makes it too difficult to control. to run of seven points in a deciding game, can you? Oh, my goodness. Well, 
He's trying the crouch defence there. <laughs> got got, got in. himself in a right tangle. Yeah, got in a real mess there, I have to say. Having said that, you know, it's, she's so aggressive in defence, isn't she? Again, she'd stepped up the court to have been very effective for it. Serve worked. Got the shuttle in play. Got the mistake from Zhang Nan again. Yeah, a little bit of dispute here as to whether the shuttle should be changed or not. <laughs> Chen Wen Singh says no. And the umpire agrees. Any points they can score on her service are a real bonus, aren't they, in this match? of rackets and the shuttle drifts wide and it means that they're all back level once again yeah better smash though placing the smash down the middle you'll see it here both the Chinese retreating and the smash to the middle causes the indecision yeah, it's not often you see this sort of trick shot from Jung Nan oh dear uh, they've done well, they've scored a few points off a serve, which is a bonus, you'd have to say. He's patchy, isn't he? he goes, I, I thought on that run of seven points, I thought, oh, he's back, he's back into it, and it's all of a sudden then, you know, you sort of think, oh, no, I'm not quite sure he is. No, I think there's definitely something not quite right. It'll be interesting in the press conference afterwards. Hear what he's got to say. delightful change of pace yeah and again it is that change of pace where he's not tried to force it he's played one smash forced the Chinese pair back into a deep defensive position and then change the pace and that's much better tactics in that rally. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they changed the shuttle here. The shuttle seemed to be getting slower and slower during the rally. Yeah. At the end of that rally, having the attack would l almost look to disadvantage. defense yep. purely instinctive yeah great defense but again it's the gamble going with that cross-court smash particularly against our young lay who defends so well yeah partner's not happy with that Now the pair from Taipei have their what has proved to be a better end. Far side of the court, the pair's doing better from that end.
she's holding them together at the moment. She is, she's playing very well, but again, Chen guilty of hitting straight to her here, look. There was lots of space on the net. Zhao Yunlei was off the net position. And he's played straight back to her and she's found the winner. Doesn't give his partner any time to get into position to defend there. Shot again from Zhang Nan. Bit of indecision here. There. Let the shuttle come to him. And again. Not in a great position. Turned into a game of errors at the moment. Makes the difference. It's good play. Takes the shuttle early, gets up, takes it very early, but then just takes the pace off at the last second. serve yeah, and even passing the shuttle back there Chen Wen Sink taking the opportunity to practice the serve At that time the low serve was short flick serve do you think Jill it has to be really yep In the last five or six points, Chen's had a little bit of a disaster. He's made three or four really easy errors above the net in the front court. You can't be missing those. from Taipei if they want to win this match. Oh, that's a well, good shot. So both Ian and I have been saying that it's a little bit dangerous to play the flat ones, but work well on that occasion. Won't work because they've got Zhao Yunlei off the net position. It was Zhang Nan at the front of the court, and he's not as natural there, hadn't got his racket up. Uh. 
Yeah, yeah. it looks, looks a better target to me. They're yeah. getting through Jiang Nam, but they can't get through Zhao Yunlei. Missed it. That could be costly. Two points away from their third consecutive final here at the China Open semi final. an okay serve and he had a chance but again he's trying to hit hard straight back onto Zhao even if it goes over Zhao Young lays well placed four match points unbelievable uh, in the end they got through but my goodness Initially, what great defense from Zhao Yunlei. And this is the problem. Match points against you. And a player that's struggling with serve. Well, sums it up to me. <laughs> 21-17 in the final game. And if only, if only Chen Wen Sing could regain the confidence on her serves, my goodness, they would be a threat to every other pair in world badminton. There's confirmation. Six minutes shy of the hour mark. 21-13, 17-21, 21-17 in the deciding game.